So first things first guys, let's examine what I found in my garden and yikes. I found the this monstrosity. She was buried deep in one of the flower beds. My dog likes to dig, so I guess she buried her even further than what she actually was. She was probably on top of the flower bed, who knows, but she is not looking great and not looking her pretty princess self. So, took her to the bathroom, I gave her a good old shower, you know, some shampoo, some soap, some love, gave her a little pampering as you do, and much better. She's, um, I mean, she's looking like she's crawled through dirt and has been in the army, I guess, and running away from people, but she she looks less cobwebby and dusty. <laughs> scary, though. Very scary. I mean, she has seen some scary stuff. That looks like some traumatised eyes. I don't know what's going on with the hands there and her arm. She's very thick. And that side of the face, is that the hair? Is that the face? Is she mutated? Who knows? And yeah as i said the hands like me <laughs> i have no idea what's going on there but it's okay we are we are going to do her up and make her look pretty again so let's get into it starting off with white obviously she's going to need a massive base coat because at the moment it's so distracting that i don't think i can come up with an idea without her being completely fully blank Blank. Blank. By this point guys, I'm not going to lie, I was thinking of keeping the white theme and probably going with like a wedding princess vibe but I quickly disregarded that idea because I realised I didn't have a male statue and I would really really want to have a groom next to her in the garden um, and going out and shopping and you know going to see the world and seeing the places and trying to find a statue for my bride did did not tickle my fancy unfortunately and also i realized as well when i was painting her fresh white is the nooks and crannies in this statue was unbelievable she had so much wear and tear i wish i filled in the gaps of clay or something but this was supposed to be a really quick project and believe it or not it took me over maybe three to four weeks to finish simply because I just kept coming back to it after a while and leaving it and then coming back to it because I was so unsure of <laughs> what I was doing. Um, but in the end when you see at the end of the video I think it came together quite nicely. So here she is a blank canvas. And my idea is blue as you can see I'm shoving okay reps I'm shoveling in your guys faces I'm really sorry but I decided to go with a blue color theme for her dress now blue is my favorite color and I just thought there was these little crinkles that would really make the shadows work when it's blue as you can see and also I don't know blue is just a really nice color why would you not want to go with blue really but I'm just tapping on the color on I'm not at this point not really caring about not getting it onto the other parts that aren't supposed to be blue because this is a big statue as you can tell by the size of my hand compared to the statue even like just as I think the skirt alone was as obviously as thick but as big as my hand as well it was it was huge so now moving on to the bag, as you can see, still trying to get into those creases. This this statue was very, very difficult. Um, and especially as a perfectionist, I needed to make sure all those bumps that you could still see when the light shone on it was white, I needed to make sure they were back to blue. So it was very, very difficult as a perfectionist to get this statue right. Now, since the base is all on, I decided to take the statue upstairs to my studio so welcome to my studio for the first time I'm just going back over the blue and believe it or not this whole thing was a complete waste of time because as you can see I went even lighter with the blue later on and went back over everything and 
just the, the, this this was a nightmare to paint it was really fun it was a different thing for me i normally paint on canvases so this was definitely different for me but it it was very hard and very challenging so that is something i did find especially with my camera angles i uh, I'm not very good at creating videos as you can tell and I'm not very good at creating content so I was just giving it a go, I was having fun and I, I, I just love having fun and video recording things now because I've realised as well I don't really take much pictures or videos of anything I do in my life because I'm living in the moment um, but it's actually quite fun to look back on so I never actually realised that and the transition in this statue was very fun to rewatch as I was editing the video so I think I am going to carry on just video recording my processes um, but I do need to work on my camera angles that's for damn sure <laughs> Uh, sorry, I went off on a bit of a rant there. Back to the painting. So, blue dress, perfectly fine. We need to do the hair. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, the face comes first, then the hair gets put on. And again, guys, I am going to say a complete waste of time because I did go back over it. I, ugh, I'm just so annoyed at myself that. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, for me the skin tone, like you can't see on the camera, it actually looks really nice on the camera now that I'm re-watching it and looking over it. But honestly guys, right at the end, I promise you, she does look much better than what we saw before. And even now as I'm painting her, I'm thinking, what is her story? Why is she like this now? What, what was she like before? Well, I mean, we saw what she liked before, but how on earth did she end up in that state? And then my mind started wondering, well, maybe she was a princess or a queen even, because she does have a crown, hello. Um, so maybe she was a queen and she decided that, you know, if her kingdom is gonna fight a war, maybe her kingdom was in a war anyway, so hear me out then she wanted to join. She didn't want to just sit behind her castle and let them fight for her. She wanted to be on the battlefield with them, crawling through the dirt, being stumped on by dogs and animals. You never know. So now I'm thinking she's a very fierce, independent lady and who loves the color blue, bear in mind, everyone loves the color blue. So, where is she going to go with this? So how did she get here? What has happened since we found her in that dirty little flower bed where she was trampled on by the enemies? I have lost you by now. I am truly sorry. Please just enjoy the painting. But those of you who have been paying attention and you're liking the storyline so far, I'm going to carry on and let's roll with it because there's no going back now. We've come too far and the story must be finished. My ADHD will not allow me not to finish this story now. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, you know, she's an army warrior princess or queen. Let me know in the comments, would you prefer to be a princess or queen? I'm not too sure on that one myself. Anyways, moving on, I feel like I'm getting off track and I'm getting a bit too deep into this. So I am now just going to do her hair. As you can see, I went with a brown, dirty, muddy, earthy type of colour for the hair. Um, I don't know why. I was thinking of putting her blonde, but brunette was just speaking to me by this point so she's going to be a bit of a brunette and i feel like she was blonde before so she needs she needs a change okay not all changes are negative some are positive <laughs> so all these tiny little details honestly when i say this thing was hard and challenging it was hard and challenging the hair like you had to get into see you had to get into those nooks and crannies i was moving the statue this way and that way it was such a big statue and the details were so small it was very difficult to get good angles i was leaning up on the wall i was leaning on her head at one point i think i actually strangled her during the crown later on um so you will see that um i promise i am not a murderer though <laughs> or or a statue killer i promise that 
but it was it was a very challenging challenging moment for me and I believe this is where you're gonna see the idiocy of me as you can see now <laughs> oh boy guys so yeah I started again I re really went over the dress I just found like it dried a bit too dark it wasn't the way I liked it and when I stood there staring at it for three weeks and not touching it at all I, it was just speaking ugly to me and we don't do ugly here we do pretty so I redid the dress lighter as you can see um, skipped ahead because this video is getting very long and I don't feel like I've achieved much I <laughs> because I've had to redo everything and now I'm strangling her to get some gold tints on the crown and I decided to do the crown blue as well because as I said I want her to be from a blue planet where everything's going to be blue and including all the materials what you wear your house everything is blue shades of blue with gold tints and white she's coming from a whole planet we've got a whole story for her i promise you guys i'm so happy i decided to do her individually and not a wedding bride like i originally planned to do so now that I've redone everything, I am as you, going back over the face and now redoing all of their skin. <laughs> because I did tell you guys, it did dry darker than what I intended it to. I even had to go back over the hair with some dark, um, dark highlights, I guess, low lights, dark low lights, dark low lights, because it just dried very patchy and very dark for some reason and very dull. It wasn't wasn't exactly what I was hoping for especially considering it's going to be out in the garden and I really do want to create a masterpiece of all the little statues that I found in the garden when we did do it up. I <laughs> will show you those eventually. Maybe I'll do a poll to see which ones you guys would like me to repaint next. Maybe make this a little series, who knows. But I have redone her over so many times and like I did say to you guys, it did take me about five okay maybe three four weeks maybe more i don't know give or take uh, it's, it's been a while okay i'm not very good with my time management so it's been it's been it's been a while so now that i'm just lightening up the skin tone i really do feel like she's actually coming together a lot better now um there's a lot more to her everything's looking more redefined everything's looking like it's got it in its right little portions so I'm very happy with how she's turning out and this video is now getting so long so let's speed everything up and voila she has a face we're gonna sign the bottom of the statue because it was made by me and this is the finished piece guys what do you think i think she looks a lot better than the before which was let's remind ourselves in this state and now look she's so pretty i think at this angle she's perfect and i will have to definitely place her at a certain angle in the garden because as you can see from this side due to that funky business that was going on with the hair and the face and the neck like I didn't know which part was the hair, which part was the face, which part was the neck. It was very difficult. But this angle, this angle is her angle. You're looking good, darling. You're looking very good there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Bye.